Everyone has heard the expression of eating for two in reference to pregnant women when referring to her dietary habits, but to what extent is this true? According to a new field of genetics called epigenetics, this expression is not only completely true, but holds more importance than ever before. However, just eating enough for two is not enough to prevent all the discovered medical problems that can be created from malnutrition right from the womb. According to several theories and studies, what a mother puts into her body can greatly determine the health of her baby later in life. This includes vitamins, minerals, and her caloric intake. Genes provide the instructions for the development and maintenance of the body. Yet a second set of instructions, known as the epigenome, interacts with DNA to activate or suppress the expression of particular genes. Certain chemicals, known as epigenetic tags, turn genes off or on without changing the underlying genetic code. How does epigenetics affect us? Epigenetics has been connected to many types of cancers due to the overmethylation of certain genes. Epigenetic effects are also present outside the womb. This was discovered during twin studies where twins who had similar lifestyles and spent a great deal of time together had similar methylation patterns. Recently, differences in DNA methylation in twins has been examined in epigenetic studies of the dopamine receptors. Differential methylation of a dopamine receptor leads to differences in psychological aspects of schizophrenic twins. An experiment in mice was then performed to further confirm the effects of DNA methylation. When mice have methylated a gouty genes, they have brown fur and are thin. They also are free of metabolic related diseases. However, when the mice have unmethylated genes, they have yellow fur, are obese, and are prone to a range of diseases from cardiovascular disease to diabetes. The researchers then explored the idea of feeding pregnant yellow fur mice a diet high in nutrients that methylated the agouti gene. When eating a diet high in nutrients such as folic acid and B vitamins, the yellow mice that were prone to many metabolic diseases produced pups that had a brown coat and were free of these diseases. This showed that even though the yellow mice had the unmethylated genes and had many de metabolic diseases, their offspring were healthier as a result of a diet high in nutrients. A famous example of how malnutrition can affect prenatal health is the Dutch famine of 1944, where fetuses in their first trimester were deeply affected by the malnutrition experienced by their mothers. The fetuses suffered lifelong issues such as diabetes, obesity, and other long-term illness. In comparison, the fetuses that were conceived earlier and were in their second trimester during the famine were less affected by the famine. Those who suffered malnutrition early on in the pregnancy had a five times increase in the risk of developing cancer. Lack of prenatal care, including diet, can cause future health issues such as observed during the Dutch famine of 1944. Women who are nutrient poor during the first trimester of pregnancy have children with an increased risk of obesity and insulin resistance. Insulin resistance leads to multiple complications such as heart and kidney failure, amputations, and blindness. What has only been researched lightly is the idea of lack of brain development due to a nutrient-poor environment. One such psychological disorder has been studied having a correlation with an underdevelopment of the fetal brain. Schizophrenia was observed in the offspring of mothers who were ill during the period of brain development in the fetus. What can we do to prevent these issues? Increasing daily intake in folate and B12, both of which are important in maintaining cell division, especially during time of rapid growth making DNA and RNA, making red blood cells prevent anemia, and most widely known, preventing neural tube defects. Some naturally found selections that contain folate include leafy green vegetables, fruits, dried beans, and peas. Some foods that are enriched in folate include fortified cereal, cornmeal, flour, and grain products. The B12 vitamin can be found in foods such as red meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, eggs, and tofu. Increasing intake in iron is also important because it is a mineral that serves several important functions in the body. During pregnancy, iron becomes even more important because a pregnant woman makes about 50% more iron than before and needs to additionally make more hemoglobin. 
Iron is also important for the development of the placenta and for preterm growth of the baby. Iron is found in a large quantity of red meat. However, for a vegetarian diet, it can also be found in legumes, vegetables, and grains. It is important to remember to eat a healthy diet when pregnant because the foods you eat do directly affect your child.